Hey, how's it going? We're finally here. Finally. I've been filming a number of videos back to back and we are finally at the big boy box. Now, if you're a subscriber to this channel and you watch my videos, I greatly appreciate it, but you probably haven't seen me do one of these. Because this is the only one I've ever got. This is the only one I've ever done. I'm excited. I'm excited about what I'm going to get in here. Because I do collect autographs, and that's what this box is, which you could have told by the title of the video. This is a $250 autograph mystery box from the band box. Those have a thousand dollar plus in value, so I'm expecting some possibly. I mean, it's got some weight to it, so there might be autograph Funko Pops in here. Um, it definitely looks like it's big enough to have a, an autograph Funko Pop, but uh, it's not big enough to have anything over an eight by ten. But I mean, I don't know how many things are in there are autographed. Um, depending on who's autograph, I mean, if it say had like a Robert Downey Jr. autograph in there, I mean, honestly, that would probably be about five hundred dollars worth of value right there, because minimum he's probably charging about five hundred dollars. Which I, mean, I don't. I love Robert Downey Jr. You know, I loved him as an actor, just period, but especially as Iron Man, um, it, just phenomenal. But, what, is there any, can I think of any celebrity, any, whether it's movies, TV, music, sports, can I think of any celebrity that I would pay $500 for their autograph? No. No. Now, if I would say, if I was set in life, if I had that money to spend uh, on something like that, then, yeah, maybe. I might. But even then, probably not. It's just a little bit high, I think, for, for me. And, you know, speaking for myself, and, of course, this is, uh, yeah, you can almost look at it as maybe conjecture in a way because I'm not in that position. But I'd like to think, being the, the more humble type person I am, um, which I believe I am, um, even if I became well-known, I don't know whether I would feel right charging people um, such a high price for my autograph. Not to take away from celebrities, I mean, to each their own. I'm just talking for me personally. I'm not saying anything that there's anything wrong with it. Um, you know, especially, you know, some of these high-profile celebrities that, you know, a lot of times time is money for them. To where if they're, if they're taking time out to sit there and sign, you know, do a private signing with a certain company, or if they're going to take time out to go to a convention and, you know, spend two or three days at a convention and basically just doing that all day, meeting people and signing autographs, and that might be taken away from them being able to be filming or working on something that they're they're scheduled to do so I mean I can under, un, understand it um, I'm just saying for me personally even if I became a big name in, in something and, and became well known I don't know whether I'm not saying you know, that I wouldn't wouldn't charge you know if I was like at a convention or something but I would I mean, ultimately, I'd like to think that I would basically charge $20, $30 if, if I was a famous celebrity. You know, basically what, you know, for what they're buying. If they're buying, like, the, an 8x10 photo, then, then they're basically buying the photo, and then I'm signing it for them. Yeah. There are a lot of celebrities that do that, where you can go and you can literally, you know, for $20, $30. A lot of times, if you go to, like, the Cinema Wasteland, um, conventions up in Cleveland, Ohio. I think they have them uh, twice a year. Or they, they used to. I don't know. Maybe with COVID they, they haven't been. But a lot of times, I mean, you do, you do get some, some well-known celebrities up there. But a lot of times you get um, more of these like cult, um, like pulp fiction, if you will. 
um, celebrities that are in like horror movies and sci-fi and stuff like that. And a lot of times that's what it is. You go and meet them. I mean, you're paying maybe thirty, maybe forty dollars, but you're basically really just paying for you know the photo and stuff. And then they sign it. A lot of times, then you can also get your picture with them um, for free. Um, and that's just kind of the way they're saying, you know, that they appreciate you coming and 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 coming to meet them at a convention and being a fan and so forth. So, but I don't. That's just my opinion. That's a, I'm just talking about how I'd like to think I would be if I was ever in that position. But it's not taken away from any of the celebrities or, or what they charge. Um, you know, a lot of the celebrities that do charge these large amounts are are probably worthy of it because they're in phenomenal actors or phenomenal sports stars or musicians. So, anyway, enough rambling. Let's dive into this. Uh, I don't want to wait one minute longer. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it so that I'm opening it away from me. So my first impression will be me reaching in and feeling and seeing what we have. Do we have like a Funko Pop? No, no Funko Pops. Got some packing paper. More packing paper. All right, it, it feels like it's just it's just uh, autographs, but there are quite a few of them in here. So it might be that there's may there might not be like a huge like a huge name actor like a Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Hemsworth or something like that in here. But the value might is obviously still going to be there because I mean there's got to be at least ten eight by tens in here. Probably more than that, but you know, there's always a chance that there might be a bigger name. But let's just let's just go. Let's just go. All right, the first one we have is looks like from a Spider-Man animated. Um, of course, the downside is I'm, I'm not. I'm, you know, I might not. You know, I won't know who who actually signed it. I'm going to have to go go and look each one of these up on Beckett um, to see who signed it. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably maybe take a little small piece of paper and write who it is and just slide it into the, the back of this. Uh, right now, I've literally run out of room in my theater room to put more autographs up. So all my autographs I keep but I, I'm putting them in one of my filing cabinets. Um, you know, if somebody really, you know, somebody really big, like if this was like a Spider-Man signed by like Tom Holland or Tobey Maguire or something, then I would probably swap it out with one of the autographs I got hanging up and put that in the filing cabinet. But I'm not saying that this actor isn't a, a well-known actor. Um, obviously, he's got to be somewhat well-known if he's you know doing signings. But Obviously, looking at the picture, it's definitely an animated um, show. So, I, I'm not sure who signed it. Next. This is uh, obviously a, a game from Blizzard. So, is that StarCraft or I don't think it would be WarCraft. Again, I'm not going to be able to tell who. As with most great autographs, it's it's often hard to make them out and, and see who the actual person is. But there you go. The video game. Some of the video game ones I might I might keep, especially if it's a game that I'm like I'm I'm into and that I play. Other ones I might not keep. Um, all depends. But almost all, like, most of the TV or movie ones, I'll keep. All right, next. This is from uh, Bad Santa, right? And it's signed by uh, uh, that guy. Tony Cox, I believe is what his name is. Uh, 
I think I actually had one of these and uh, I ended up selling it so I'll probably keep this one that was a funny movie Bad Santa next oh, wrong way we've got Maya from I'm guessing a video game and that's obviously signed by the person that does her voice not sure what game it's from. Maybe Overwatch or something. Next. Oh, we got another one of those. But two of those. So I can keep one and then let one go. One of them go. I don't need two of them. It's kind of a bummer that they that you got duplicates. But the great thing about duplicates is then I can just you know, sell them. Next, we've got almost looks like the same character, huh? Yeah, it is. Same character, different, uh, different print. So I'll probably keep both of them. Next. Oh, what's the name of that movie? I don't remember. I, I haven't seen it, but I, I'm... It's Knock Knock. Again, I can't read who it's signed by. But I'm guessing it's maybe signed by uh, the one in the middle. I'm guessing it's either the one in the middle or it's this one. It'd be kind of weird if it was this one and she they signed it all the way over here. But I can't think of the name of that movie. I know it's a movie I've I've seen, you know, like trailers and advertisements and stuff for it, but I don't I don't think I've actually seen it. All right, next, ooh, we got the Jin from Wishmaster. That's nice. That's cool. That's a cool picture too, man. Wonder how long it takes to do those prosthetics and makeup. I'm guessing probably five or six hours. That's probably the only downside of playing a character like that in a movie is the amount of time you have to sit in a chair to get all that stuff put on every day of shooting and then to have it taken all off and then if you're lucky, you get a couple hours of sleep just to get up and do it all over again. I think about it, it kind of sounds like my job now. Without the makeup and prosthetics. But yeah. yeah, I can't read the name, but I'm definitely happy with that one. I do love my horror. Next! We've got Jeff Daniel Phillips is Warden Harper. Not sure what movie that's from, though. I want to say it's one of the Rob Zombie movies. Right? Is that uh, from Three from Hell, maybe? I know Jeff Daniel Phillips is, is starred in a lot of Rob Zombie's movies. But yeah, I'm happy with that one. Next, well, this one's in a uh, actual like like acrylic sleeve. We have got what is that? Oh, uh, that's from Ash versus the Evil Dead. Nice. Yeah, that's that's her. She's pretty fine. Cool. I like that one. That was a really good series. Next. We got one that's got a sticky note on it. I'm not sure what that's about. 
Why does it have a sticky note on it? Is there a, a reason for that? But this, here's a uh, Charlie Brown. And who's that? Some, is that Linus? Right? He's the one that plays piano. And it's signed by whoever did the voice for Lucy. I've got a couple of Charlie Brown prints. I got one up there. I think I had another one somewhere. Hmm. But yeah, but the prints I have up there are just signed by the artist that did the print. Um, whereas this one looks like it's probably an actual um, pulled from maybe like an actual um, you know Peanuts cartoon or something maybe. I'm guessing maybe a Valentine's Day. And it's actually signed by the the voice actor that did her voice. I don't know why it had a sticky note on it though. Next we have got Gem and a Hologram. Boy, that's a throwback. And obviously signed by the lady that does the voice for Gem. That's pretty cool. Again, a lot of these I'm going to have to go and, and look up to see who the actual names are because I can't read them. Next! Is this way? This is from an anime. I can tell that. And it is... Is that... Kanichi? Kaneki? I think I have Funko Pop of this character. I don't think I still have it. I think it might be, I think I already sold it. I'm gonna have to look. I'm pretty sure I have. But I recognize like the mask and stuff, and the name sounds familiar. It kind of looks like that. Kinechi. I don't know. Man. I said, what, 10? I mean, I think we've already had 10. So I put one over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's at 12. And there's still a stack in here. Next. Oh, that was like the same character. Different uh, different photo shoot. So this one I'll probably I'll probably keep one of them. Which one do I like better? I think I like this one better. So I'll probably keep that one and then this one I'll I'll let somebody else uh, purchase it at a reasonable price and uh, somebody can add it to their collection. Next, another anime. I don't have a clue who that is. Or wait, is that that's Dragon Ball Z, right? Chi Chi. Looks like Cynthia Craig. It's obviously Cynthia, but I don't know if the last name's Craig or Krang or. Chi Chi. I know I sold. I'm pretty sure I sold the Chi Chi Funko Pop I had. Next. Another anime. I don't have a clue what this one is. Yeah, I have a clue who signed it. Yeah. Some of these anime ones, I also, I might let go just because I don't watch a lot of anime, so. There's really no reason for me to hold on to it. Alright, next. That looks really... Is that Naruto? That looks like a Naruto. And this one's actually like inscribed. It's got an inscription now. This is my story. Oh, it's Boruto, right? 
pretty sure that's what that says. Baruto. And it's signed by whoever does a voice for Baruto. It's not Maley, that Maley Flane again. I know she did some voices for Naruto or something. I think I got, maybe I sold out. I had a Funko Pop signed by her. I don't know if I sold it. All right, here we go. Oh, it's the exact same one, ain't it? Yeah. All right, so I'll be able to keep one of these. So I got two of them. I might as well keep one, and then I can sell the other one. Yeah, so here we go. Those will be up on my Macquarie uh, eventually. Next. Still waiting for, like, the real, like, a big name, right? Like, a real big name. Here we have a, a game one, NBA Jam. I have a clue who it's signed by, though. It's kind of a weird signature right there. Mm -hmm. anyway. That one I, I might not keep either. Next. Oh, we got another one. Looks like a different. Yeah, it's a different shot. Signed by the same person. Uh, I think I'll obviously I'll keep one of them since I got two of them. I think I'll keep that one, and then this one. I can let go of. This one's signed in silver. Still going. Still going. Sorry the video is so long, but here we have from Portal 2. We have Ellen McLean. I'm guessing she's probably been in stuff other than just video games, maybe. Next. Oh, we got a repeat of that one, too. So there we go. If you're interested in Ellen McLean autograph picture from Portal 2, that'll be up. And I'll have to do some research to see kind of what the going rate of their, their autographs are. Here we have another Portal 2. Again, Ellen, Ellen McLean. I really don't need to keep another one. I mean, it's a different, it's a different photo, but I'm not really keen on that photo. You can't really tell what's what in there. So I'll kind of let that one go too. Next, we've got oh, this is from Toy Story, right? And I think I. I'll double check, but I think I might have this. I'll have to see if I got this actual photo or if it's a different one. But I'm pretty sure I have. I got this in uh, one of my geek boxes. So if I do, then obviously I won't need to keep another one of it. Next, we've got. Ooh. We've got a Jason one. Not sure who it's signed by though. That looks like maybe Ken. Ken somebody. That's cool though. I'll definitely be keeping that one for sure. All right, I think we're getting down. I think there might be like three, four at the most. All right, and there we have. I don't have a clue what that's from. This looks more like an art print. So it's technically, I mean, it's an it is an autograph because it's signed by the artist, but it's just like an art print. I don't think it's it's signed more like by the art, you know, an artist rather than a, a, like a uh, celebrity in a traditional sense. But I'm not sure what that's from. Oh, I think that's from Loki. 
Yeah, I think that's from Loki when they were on the planet that where the, the moon is breaking apart. With he's with Sylvie. Huh. All right. I might actually have a print of this too. I'll have to double check. I have all my prints up here. So. But if I don't have that exact one, I'll, I'll keep that one too. But if I have that exact one, then I'll be able to you know, let it go. Next, we got upside down. Oh, we got the uh, guy from Star Strip. Star Strip. That's a whole different movie. Starship Troopers. Eh, I can't make out his name. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think I have that one. I'd imagine that came in the Geek Box at one time. So maybe I do have it. I'll have to go down and look through the ones I have in my... I don't think I will have that hanged up in the theater room. Alright, next. This looks like it's probably from a video game. I don't know how cool it is. Alright. Two left. Oh, we got another one of those. So I won't need to keep two of those. And last one. Nice. We've got from the uh, Adams Family. Was it Adams? Adams Family or Adams Family Values? Um, signed by the actor that played Pugsley. Be nice to. This would be a good one if Christina Ricci ever does a signing somewhere to have her sign it. I'll definitely have to keep that in mind. Keep my eyes open. I'd love to go to a convention and actually meet her and just take this and have her sign it too. Life goal right there. That's what I'll try to do. All right, well, there we go. Long video. I know, this is a longer video than usual. Was this worth the money? Yeah, without question. Um, especially when I go back and I look up and see you know, who some of these signers are and look at some of the other stuff they've been in. I mean, on average, you're going to pay... For most of these people at a convention these days, I would guess you're going to pay at least $30 to get to get an autograph. So let's see how many. Real quick, I know this video is long. I apologize. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, art prints 30. So 30 of them, and conservatively saying $30 for autograph, you're looking at $900. They said it was $1,000 plus, so obviously some of these. Um, the actual fee would be be higher. Um, I would assume probably like the, the Jeff Daniel Phillips might be more like 40 or $50, uh, which I'm sure there probably are not a number, number of them that are, that are more than what I said. Uh, that was just a conservative price. Uh, but I'll have to go back and look all these up um, so I can make a notation of who the actual uh, uh, signer was. Overall, I'm happy. I think it was uh, money well spent, especially as some of these go on and continue their careers. Um, they may become more well known, in which case these uh, their autographs will obviously go for a higher value. Uh, got plenty uh, to add to my autograph collection. So again, all the repeats and maybe even some of the other ones that from like animes that I decide not to keep. They will be up eventually in my Mercari store. So I know it's a long video. I apologize, but if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. They normally last about 20 minutes, not 30 minutes. So, um, but um, make sure you check out the Bam Box. There will be uh, information about them down below. And, uh, until the next time, as always, everybody, look out for yourself and those around you. 
so we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. See?